The Texas legislature formed the new district court, the 472nd District Court, and Governor Greg Abbott made an appointment. This is the first opportunity to have an election for that position. One of the candidates in that race joins us today, Jennifer Abair. Jennifer, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit first about your educational background. So I am a class of 2002 from Texas A&M. I have my bachelor's degree in finance with business honors. I then went to the University of Texas for law school, where I also graduated with honors, um, was a member of the Board of Advocates, as well as a member of Law Review. This court is kind of a specialty court. It can be a district court like all the others, but we have some certain areas of focus. So let's talk about each individual portion of that. First of all, starting with civil. What is your experience there? So I spent the first seven and a half years of my career down in Harris County doing nothing but commercial litigation work. So I handled everything from oil and gas to commercial real estate disputes, shareholder oppression disputes, breach of fiduciary duty, a whole wide range of things, um, also including some toxic tort and personal injury. So with regard to civil, that's kind of where I started. Since moving up to Brazos County, I worked in the assist- as an assistant city attorney where I did a little bit of city, uh, civil work for the city of College Station. And then with the DA's office, I've been handling all the civil work for the DA's office since 2017. And I've been our, officially our civil chief since 2022. All right. Let's talk about your experience when it comes to family law. I have been a member of the family violence team with the DA's office since 2016. Um, I also have worked with our uh, juvenile department and have been our juvenile chief. There's a lot of interplay there between the juvenile system and family violence in the family law system. And so I've been very, very involved in seeing how all of those things play together, also working with our CPS attorneys who also play an important role in those family law disputes. And so I've seen the dynamics of family law cases from various different angles and have been able to gain an understanding of those inner dynamics and just how complicated those things are through those experiences. How about your experience with criminal? So criminal, I have been a prosecutor now for a little over 11 and almost 11 and a half years. I first with the city as a municipal prosecutor and then for the last nine and a half as an assistant DA. So how, overall, how many years have you been practicing law? 18 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> almost 20 years. Sure. What do you bring to this job that your opponent doesn't? My experience level. Um, having practiced both civil I'm sorry, not just both, but civil, family, and juvenile law, and having been the juvenile chief for Brazos County for several years, I know those areas of the law. Um, This is a specialty court, as you mentioned, and those three areas are are what's primarily going to be the focus of this court. Juvenile law specifically is very, very specialized, um, and it is very intricate. It is this very unique combination of civil, family, and criminal law, and I bring that knowledge to the table. Um, I there's really no way to learn it quickly. It is very detailed and it takes time. And I've, like I said, I was the civil chief for two years. I've continued, I'm sorry, the juvenile chief for two years. And I've continued to work with our juvenile attorneys and handle juvenile cases even since that time. Anything that I haven't covered that you would like to tell our audience? Just that I think this is a very important position for our county. Um, This is the court that Outside of the criminal justice system, this is the court that the vast majority of our citizens will be in if they have some sort of dispute, whether it be a business dispute or their child gets in trouble or they're in the middle of a family dispute. It is vitally important to this community that we have someone in this position who has the experience necessary. And I believe I'm that person. And one more thing. Do you have a website that people can access? I do. It's www.jenn, J-E-N-N, for judge. 2024.com. Thanks.